All right, starting the recording now. Check, check. Check, check. All right, starting to record now. <clears throat> yo, yo, what up, everybody? ET on the EUC. It's been a second, at least in my head. But I'm on the Commander Pro. Let me uh, cross the street over here real quick. Before it fucking goes out. So, it's like really early in the morning. It's like 7 o'clock, 7.15 in the morning. I usually don't work this early, but we're gonna pull 300 today. Um, because I need it. Why? Because I've been spending all my time Changing out the tire on this motherfucker. <clears throat> and I had to do that twice. And it sounds like, oh, it's just a tire, dude. Why are you saying it's taking you hours? Well, I'll explain that here in a little bit. Anyway. All right, so I'm just going to talk a little bit before I start my shift. And then we'll just get right into doing orders and stuff. I just want to talk about this whole ordeal uh, with the Commander Pro and why it took me a little longer to release the video. So basically what ended up happening is I pinched one of the inner tubes when I was installing the tire the first time around. I had one more tube. I actually installed it correctly for the street tire. But what ended up happening is if you look down here... I didn't have the tire properly aligned and because of that the tire was going back and forth like this wobbling it was just super annoying so i took some advice online basically it said deflate the tire pretty low to where it's barely rideable and it should be able to align the tire that way because that was the issue the seams of the tire weren't aligned properly but i had the inner tube deflated too much so when i got on the wheel the tire went sideways off the rim since the tire went sideways it pulled the valve while the valve was still on the rim and it ripped the valve off the inner tube <laughs> basically and so i was out two inner tubes i had to get another inner tube online i let this sit for a little bit finally got the inner tube installed it and there was actually a bigger wobble in the tire this time i spent so long trying to seat this this tire properly long story short this is the best i'm going to get it if you see it's kind of wobbly a little bit and that wobble you can feel it but I ain't fucking with this tire anymore. My only hope at this point, because I, I have tried everything I could, is that hopefully this tire just like somehow aligns itself over time. I don't know. If you guys want to get more of my thoughts on the Commander Pro, I did like a podcast. If you want to hear it, I'll put a link to the podcast below in the description. So with all that said, let's start some deliveries. I right, got a Duncan 944, 1.1 miles, 14 minutes. Duncans. Yeah, buddy. Do it. So a little bit of obvious fact. In the morning, you're going to get more coffee. You're going to get more liquids and coffee cups and shit. So <clears throat> what that means is more potential of spillage at night you'll get them more like in like containers and stuff like that but in the morning it makes it a little bit challenging obviously coffee drinks are a little more high maintenance so hopefully they don't spill let's find out shrink shrink donkeys Where? Uh, can I get the name? Daniel. That's everything. 
Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bam. What the fuck is this shit doing in here? So I think we just got like a dozen donuts and some hash browns, a couple sandwiches, but no drinks. Fuck, I get used to getting on this thing. Ugh. But uh, no drinks. I'm happy with that. I'd rather do that than take no drinks. So let's see where we're going. In 500 feet, turn left onto McDougal Street. Mac Dougal Street. Looks like we're going four minutes to the west. Yep, four minutes to the west. Should be over here somewhere. Your destination is on the left. Uh, maybe this is it. Oh shit. It's at the Vein Bakery. Right, her. Yeah, my brain's not working very well. I'm not lack of sleep. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I got a food delivery for. Nathan Nell? Nathan? I don't know. Yes. For you? One Nate. Okay. Uh, cashier. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. De delivery one complete. So I've learned anytime you get anything new and it's shiny, people catch people's attention. They always comment on it. First time I got a new jacket, wearing it around, got compliments on it. First time I got the shittiest e-bike on the market, riding it around, got compliments on it. EUCs, I mean, you get compliments on it no matter what because they're just so unique but still fairly looks new the cuc so gonna get compliments on it the knobby stock tire that came on here was aligned perfectly so there was no wobbles because what happens is when you get those wobbles you can really feel it it feels like it's like turbulent you know even though it was a knobby and this is a street tire the street tire should feel smoother but because i cannot align the tire to save my life it's not as smooth as a stock knobby that i had on here so oh well Got one from Hatch House, whatever that is. 839, 1.4 miles, 14 minutes. I'm gonna take that. Okay, so this is another spot. I don't know what you would call it. Ghost kitchen, digital kitchen, whatever the hell. I don't know, but they got like, they have so many names at this place. Let's see, uh, that's right over here. They must have like six names at this spot. Village Cafe and Grill, they got so many Uber names here. Hey, Thomas. Is there drinks in here? Inside. Okay, is it covered? Yes. Okay. So 
So this has a side of hash brown, spicy bacon and egg, and ice brew coffee. And what do they do? How do they pack it in the bag? They put the hash browns and the spicy bacon and egg on the bottom and the iced coffee on top. So it just wants to tip over. Genius, genius. Head northwest on East 4th Street towards 2nd Avenue. So we're, it's about, it says about nine minutes to the southwest. I almost ate shit there, by the way, because I put my foot too far left off center when I mounted because the pedals are up higher. Like the Sherman's real low to the ground. I don't have to lift my feet up that high, you know? So I just got a one to do right after this. $7, 1.4 miles, 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take it. After I drop this off, I'll go pick that up and then drop that off. Uh, right here. Right here. Oh, shit. Leave at door gate. Okay. Hello. Be careful when you put it down. They put the coffee on the top for some reason. So it wants to tip over. So yep, no problem. Cool, cool. See, it's. like 8 17 right now and after that one order that duncan's you notice how we're getting orders kind of back to back already why because it's a sunday everyone's chilling no one wants to do anything which is great all right so let's go to the next spot toasty's breakfast burritos grand saint soho okay i have never been here before uh right her oh Never been here before because it's a grand opening. I think there used to be like a Asian, some kind of Asian restaurant here. This is the same spot, I don't know. Ugh. Hello. Uh, let's see here. Lishanta, Lishanta. I don't know. That's the name, I guess. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Right. See ya. Okay. Just checking if anything is liquid. <sighs> Alright, so this order says meet outside and also says to text them when I get there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to text them right now, give them an ETA so hopefully they're outside by the time I get there. Food, delivery, ETA, seven minutes. Thanks. So we're on Canal right now. Very busy street, Chinatown. I say busy, but I think we beat the traffic at the moment. See right now, I don't know. I, this tire makes the wheel feel a lot like the Sherman. And I have the knobby on the Sherman, but the knobby is way worn down. By the way, I'm gonna put a street tire on that too. I have another one. I'm kind of tire changed out at the moment. So I don't want to touch another fucking tire for at least a week, but uh, Hold up. Like this, I don't know, it just felt this, it, it felt like this thing had more acceleration with the knobby. Damn, this tree got a lot of fucking holes in it. A lot of this uh, acceleration and stuff is probably, a lot of it's just like in my head. These motherfuckers in the morning, man, they drive crazy. I almost got hit by a fucking minivan going like fucking 70 miles an hour, dude. <laughs> I was like, do I got time to cross? Yeah, no. <laughs> Turn back around. Turn back around. Yeah, I'm making a lot of 
good English. I can't even talk. I'm making a lot of good English, guys. Should be over here somewhere. Uh. Okay. Yeah, right across the street. It says text them. Hello. Oh. No. Food delivery? No. Sorry. Food delivery? No. Okay. I'm like annoyed already. I call them because they weren't texting back when they said text them. So I called them. She's like, coming down now. Some dude comes down, gives me the wrong name. He's like, it's breakfast burritos, right? I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Here, take it. 